The tragic death of actor Sushant Singh Rajput saw news channels as well as netizens turn experts into the probable causes of his death. One of the conspiracy theories is that Sushant's rumored girlfriend Riya Chakraborty, like all Bengali women of course, has done some kind of jadu tona on the late actor. I believe the exact statement was jadu tona karke apne vash mein kar liya tha. So suddenly we figured that internet hates Bengali women. As statements like these started storming Twitter. Now, honestly, being Bengali, people have mostly told me amazing things, like how intelligent I am, or how Bengalis have a political opinion, lots of talent, or you know, wonderful food, beautiful cities, and amazing skin and amazing hair. Um, guys, kind of missing the point here. Yes, what I mean to say, it's mostly just being compliments. So this entire wash me kar lena nonsense was new. Now take a look at this one particular tweet which went especially viral. They know how to make guys fall for them, said Miss Barkha Trihan. Yes, Miss Trihan, but have you considered that that could just be because we have confidence and well, generally charming personalities? And then she says. They catch big fish and good-looking, high-paid men. Kaki ma, shorty good. You had me at big fish. We catch big fish, small fish, chingy fish, eelish fish, everything. And if you find any community in India that advertises for non-good-looking, low-paid men, let me know. The genesis of this problem, though, lies with the first line of Trehan's tweet: that Bengali girls are dominating. Hey Nana, not just that. Some others have said we are Chalu, gold diggers, and controller of all decisions. In other words, the usual insults meted out to any independent woman. Now, Bengal is known to have strong female characters in our history and our tradition. We have grown up learning about Aruna Asaf Ali, Asha Purna Devi, Kalpana Datta, and many more. These women were revolutionaries at a time when. The idea of revolution was alien to women and even men in other parts of the country. This means that Bengali women were standing up to Bengali and other men way before women in rest of the country started with it. This, coupled with the access to education, again something that Bengali women had access before women in other parts of the country, deeply threatened the notions of patriarchy. The vilification of educated, independent, and empowered women that was started by higher caste Bengali bhadralogs during the Renaissance period gathered steam and led to this. So the kala jadu that Bengali women apparently used to entice men is basically education, empowered thoughts, and just the general confidence to live away from the shadow of these very men. Also, since we are talking about history, there is a specific school of thought that thinks that this black magic spewing hypnotizes image of Bengali women also extends to the rest of Eastern India. One of the plausible reasons for this is that a lot of societies in Northeast India are matrilineal, which means that property is passed down from the mother to the daughter, and so on. As a result, men often use the excuse of witches to oust women from their rightfully earned property, and which is why this stereotype came about. Also, let's be real: if Bengali women could do kala jadu, some people wouldn't be having such amazing lives. And eelish would have been distributed for free. And Durga Puja would have been a ten-day holiday everywhere. And Puchka would have officially been declared better than Golgappa. Again, guys, I think we're missing the point here, which is that this attack is not against Bengali women per se, but against independent women everywhere. Oh, and just by the way, we will not need black magic to take you to court for spreading superstition. These superstitions were also perpetuated by news reports like this one, which at six minutes kept telling us that it will tell us the satchai behind this viral spiel, but never got to it. Maybe because the only satchai behind this is how a tragic death was sensationalized by a patriarchal, misogynistic ecosystem, and that's that.